33 minutes after the hour, radio stations all across Michigan and Fox 47 television here just a block from the Capitol, or should I say the big stage from last night where the vagina monologues took place. I, as I say, I, I guess you can say it on the radio and TV, but you can't say it on the House floor, and you can't say the word vasectomy either. State Representative Barb Byram, who said the word vasectomy, was there yesterday for the vagina monologues. And if you haven't been following the saga, last week on the uh, House floor, uh, the word vagina was mentioned and then you i think your word came after when you said vasectomy and everybody said hey you ladies are out of here you can't talk jace bolger the uh, house speaker said you're out of the conversation because what you violated the house decorum right right you know honestly i offered an amendment and it related to vasectomies mm -hmm. therefore i thought i should be able to speak to my <laughs> well if it's going to be in the bill <laughs> right. it's probably going to have to use the there. word right and um i was gaveled down and um, and then when there was final passage of the bill, Representative Brown spoke um, in opposition to the bill. And she, too, was um, – no, actually, she wasn't gaveled down. She was permitted to speak. Yeah. And then the next day, when I was preparing to speak um, in support of a couple and then in opposition of a few other um, election bills, I was told that I was um, not going to be permitted to speak that day. And my response – and I was told by Leader um, Siegel, my mm -hmm. Democratic floor leader, and I said – Why not? Really? And she said, yes. I said, well, well, why? And she said, I don't know. They didn't tell me. And I said, well, how long is this censorship going to last? And she didn't know that either. Um, Leader Stamas had not indicated such to her. So I, I, was, I was just taken aback. And so I posted something on Twitter, which um, then I posted on Facebook. And, and I had some guests in the gallery. And I went up to Leader Siegel and I asked if um, Leader Stamas would permit me the opportunity to introduce my guests, something sure. that is very common, yeah. very common. And he declined that request. No. And that that really that was that was below the uh, belt. Pardon yeah, the pun. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I um, proceeded to um, update my Facebook and my Twitter accounts quite a bit um, because I was very upset. You cannot censor two female legislators on the House floor and think you're going to get away with it. Mm -hmm. We did not violate. Decorum. You think if it was a man who had said vagina, they would have uh, censored him? I would certainly. I don't know, mm -hmm. because they didn't tell us why they censored us in the beginning. We were led to believe it was because I said vasectomy. And, um, Did you get a different answer eventually? Um, a few days later, they've now done, um, now their response is a different spin. It's, they violated decorum. And, By saying the word, though. Well, I don't know. You know I, the old saying, Michael Patrick, every time you say vasectomy, vasectomy or vagina, it's enough to give men a pause. Oh, my soul. See what happens? This isn't this funny because here we are talking. We're, we, I mean, you were almost out the door for the recess. Yeah. And all, all of a sudden, this blows up to into a giant national story and 3,000 people on the Capitol lawn because obviously somebody said they could take advantage of this politically. And so, or at least you wanted to get your message out with the vagina monologues. And you sure did. I mean, well, we're no. all saying the word now that we never used to say. I haven't said vagina so much in, uh, yeah. ever. ever. The fact of the matter is, two legislators were censored on the House floor. We did not violate decorum. You would be embarrassed on some of the things I've seen and heard on the House floor. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'm 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 not a freshman. I am in my um, third term. I have seen some deplorable things just really? this term. Like what? I've seen physical altercations. Really? Shoving. I've, yes, I've 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 broken up two physical altercations in wow. my tenure here. And this did not violate decorum. I was mm -hmm. raised on this House floor, I, literally raised yeah. on the House floor. I'm glad you mentioned that because just a minute ago, Rocky Ruskowski was on. Okay. And he was remembering that your mother apparently got censored for saying the word whore. My mom did? That's well, for calling the speaker a whore, yeah. apparently. Is that, was that it? Does that ring a bell? I didn't even know that word was in her vocabulary, quite <laughs> honestly. So. This is what he said, and he was in the legislature at the time. Right. It's a family tradition. Well, I, I mean... You guys are the dingles of... Uh... Uh, no, I did not say... I, I mean, I said a medical yep. procedure. What else are you supposed to call it? Well, that's what it is. Yeah. I mean, what else are you supposed to call a yeah. vagina? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, there's I mean, no there's no better alternative than that. The, I've, I've gone through the Rolodex in my head. That's, all the alternatives are worse. Yes, well, right. I've heard many of the alternatives last night, the vagina monologues. And, <laughs> I'll bet. I mean, they're... Is that a dirty show? Do they drop no. the C-bomb consistently, though? I mean, just for poetic poetic value. In, um, the, in the play last night. I think night. I heard it once or twice or maybe four times. Okay, okay, so see what happened? Somebody said vagina, and the next thing you know, 3,000 people are on the lawn using Saying the C-word. Yeah. 
You know, it was a it was an amazing empowering empowering event last night, and the turnout that we had was just just was it three thousand on very short notice. It was a, it was at least three thousand, extremely short notice. Um, I think it started being put together late Friday night, early Saturday morning. It has been the response that I have received has been overwhelming, and I'm not just talking my constituents. I'm not just talking the state of Michigan not even just the United States, but across the world, people have reached out and said, this is the year 2012. This is America. How dare someone try to censor two female elected officials? I also, I understand the word temper tantrum was used as if somebody was having a, you were having a temper tantrum and it was yeah. called, that's something you say to it a three-year-old uh, child. It was the speaker's uh, spokesperson, wasn't it? It was, it was. Kind of funny way to put it's, it. It's very unfortunate that our discourse has come to this, that um, that comment um, goes to show how sexist that leadership is. And the fact of the matter is, the um, comment that I had a temper tantrum and, and stomped down the aisle is physically impossible as I had a knee injury at the time and I could barely walk. Oh. Um, that aside, if they thought I was having a temper tantrum then... <laughs> Look out! <laughs> yeah, 3,000 people yesterday. Can I ask Barb, because the Vagina Monologues is a series of vignettes and frequently when they go town to town they will ask people in the town to, to participate. Did you do a vignette? I, I did participate. I participated in the intro. Uh, Representative Brown participated, Senator mm -hmm. Warren, Senator Whitmer, uh, Representative Barnett, Representative Ellen Colgan Lipton, Representative Joan Bauer, um, Representative Tlaib, who also spoke in opposition of um, 5711, but wasn't censored. So we had some amazing women. Go ahead and gamble uh, me. Yeah. Oh, Senator that's Whitmer that's Senator there? Whitmer. Yes, yeah, Senator <laughs> Whitmer was there. I love it. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, and were there men in the crowd, too, or was it mainly women? There were men in the crowd. Had you seen the show before? N I had not. I was had it not. shocking, some of it? No, not at all. I, I think I haven't laughed that hard in really? a long time. I enjoyed myself. It was very empowering. It was a positive message. We all supported each other. It was, it was a great, great event, and it goes to show that the war on women is strong and the resolve of women is um, so much stronger. So where do we go from here? You, you'll be back in session in middle July. Will it all be blown over by then, you think? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard from leadership yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you don't know if you can... I mean, your censor, is, was it an official censor? Is it, it over now? I don't know. I don't know. Some news outlets are saying it was for the day, mm -hmm. for the day of Thursday. But I don't know. Um, Republican leadership has not had the guts to talk to me. You'll have to find out on the news, huh? Whether I believe or not your so. I believe so. <laughs> and will you use the word again if you get the occasion? Absolutely. If it's in if it's in an amendment or if it's in a bill, it's a proper medical term. Or if the speaker is being one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's quite an unusual way to wrap up the session for sure. And uh, congratulations on getting 3,000 women or men and women yesterday on the Capitol lawn for probably the most startling event that's ever been held on that lawn. You've made your point loud and clear, I think. And we'll continue to make it, especially in November. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you heard the hook right there. It's State Representative <laughs> Bart Byram. Onondaga, is that how you say the name where you're from? Onondaga. Onondaga, mm -hmm. right near the Capitol here. We're back in a flash.